Hi, welcome to Falcon Food, Fitness and Fun. I'm Sarah and I wanted to just do a quick video real quick because I have an idea for a cheat for some um, deviled eggs that I want to reduce the calories with. And I, I don't know if this is going to taste good or not, um, but we're going to see. Uh, I actually have an impromptu barbecue to go to today for my father and I happen to have hard boiled eggs um, in the fridge already. So I thought that would be a good thing to make, but I wanted to reduce the calories in them. So I didn't want to use mayonnaise. So what I've done already ahead of time is I went ahead and um, sliced the eggs, took the yolks out just so nobody has to sit here and watch me do that. Now I did boil the eggs. Well, I say boil, but I actually boil them ahead of time um, in my instant pot. It's not really boiling, but it's a great quick way to do without having to actually boil eggs. It's four minutes on low pressure, quick release, and then you put them in an ice bath for five minutes. And the shells actually peel off super easy doing it that way. Now I do have a few that get a little overdone when they're around the edges, but I also put, I overloaded the Instant Pot. I put in there more than I, than, than I should. Um, but I'm fine with it. It works. And then I, I like to keep um, hard boiled eggs on hand because they're great when I need a little fat protein. They're they're a quick grab from the fridge. They're already done. So they're perfect for that. I just used a pastry blender, by the way, because it works great to smash up the, the yolks. So I actually have a lot here and I was going to just do one serving of, what I'm gonna try is Greek yogurt. Um, and because of the protein, the calories, that's why I'm gonna go with this. I could go with reduced fat mayo. Um, I don't have any, I don't really know offhand the macros in that. I'm Obviously it's gonna be lower than if you were to use straight up mayo. But for comparison, I do have some actual mayo in the fridge and it is for one tablespoon 13 grams 90 calories compared to greek yogurt that and this is just non-fat plain greek yogurt and we have three-fourths cup or 170 grams is a serving for 100 calories so yeah you get a whole lot more in here and the amount of mayo that we would need to put in here for deviled eggs that would be a lot you can do your own math for that but it'd be a lot of calories so we're gonna give this a try and i i feel like with enough seasoning and stuff it, it, it's gonna taste good um let me grab my scale real quick so we'll move set over here so i think i'm gonna do it just straight into the bowl by measuring, just tear it through the bowl on there. And we're gonna try and see one serving, see if that gets enough, which is 170 grams. And I'll just add more if we need to. I ended up having a lot more eggs than I thought I would. Perfect. All right. Well, we went just a hair over, but I think it'll work. Actually, you can already tell that's not gonna be enough. We're just gonna add two servings. Even so, we're still way under. And we're getting a whole lot more protein. So let's see, that is 170, 170, what? 340? Nope. I'll double check that later, but that's what we're going for. Either way, we'll figure out how many servings that is. So we're gonna do 340 grams. And I might end up needing a bigger bowl. Ah, 
All right. Perfect. Set that aside just because we need more. Hopefully this will blend decently with the fork. Definitely should have went with a bigger bowl. Which honestly is probably going to be a lot faster. Sorry about all that noise. I'm sitting here trying to blend it in a tiny bowl. the entire contents of what I just did into another one. really terrible at communication and planning so we do this a lot is all of a sudden hey is anybody coming out have, have we thought about getting together the day before oh, consistency wise I mean it might be a little thick you could probably add some more yogurt but I think it'll be okay Go ahead and add some seasoning. On. I know some people like like sweet pickles and stuff in theirs. I don't particularly, but of course, if that's your thing, um, I'm obviously not measuring salt or pepper. really not bad. I do taste a bit of the tangy from the yogurt, but I'm thinking a little bit more salt. It's really actually quite good though. I prefer it, I think, over the mayo. Not sure that all my family will agree, but We'll see. Maybe today I'll uh, see if anyone even notices or comments. And then I'll add that in the comments. See if any of my family realizes the difference without even telling me. what else I could add in here to a little more flavoring but but really I mean you could probably add like a little even chicken broth or something if you wanted a, a little bit runnier texture but I think I think the texture with the two servings uh, um, of yogurt actually is about the right consistency I had 21 eggs by the way that I started with that's how many yolks are in here so that helps um, so Something I learned from my sister who does a lot of cake decorating and things like that. To make this a lot easier, uh, I just take the Ziploc bag. 
cut a little corner. So I shouldn't hide it, huh? And about that size, I think. Cut the little corner off. And then, let's see, actually, I think I have a spatula right behind me in my clean dishwasher. Which will work a whole lot better than the fork. for a taste test. Yeah, adding a little more salt definitely helped. I actually kind of like the little tang. It's, it's really good. I think this is successful. Oh, let's see if I can get in the bag. All right. Corner if I put in the milk. not to get it all up the sides of the bag. I don't really want to have to put some bag in here, so I'll just do this. Of course, there will end up being a lot of the filling left over as opposed to the eggs. So I probably really should have just taken half of my yolk and then maybe added a serving of the yogurt to it because it always comes out way more, obviously, because you added contents or added ingredients that wasn't originally in the egg. But there we go. We just Squeeze that down. Okay, my hole may have ended up being a little big, but that's all right. We just dab it in each egg. Yeah, definitely could have done a smaller hole. Still a lot easier than doing it with a spoon or knife or whatever. Okay. I'll finish those in a moment. I won't make you sit here and watch the whole process. I'll sprinkle a little paprika. Maybe. There we go. Okay. Or a lot of paprika. You know. Whichever. This happens to be smoked paprika. It's actually it's really good. Okay. And a real taste test. It's definitely slightly different. It doesn't it doesn't taste like they sorry. That's rude. It doesn't taste completely like using mayo. But definitely a good alternative. And for sure re huge calorie re reduction. And added protein. So definitely think it's a win. Give it a try. And let me know if you add some flavorings that you like that you find out really good. Um, you know, maybe you add less yogurt, more yogurt, whatever, drop a comment. Also, if you're enjoying my recipes and content, please hit that subscribe button. Feel free to ring the bell and then you'll know whenever I add something too. And give me a thumbs up. Or if you completely hate this, you can give me a thumbs down too, that's fine. Um, but yeah, comment and let me know if you give it a try and, and any tweaks that you do to it and how they worked out. All right, thanks, until next time. Have a great day.